Apparently when we were on stage, he ended up making his way back to our dressing room and raiding our minibar. What? Oh, right there, yeah, yeah, yeah. We've got a very rare live guest, guest sort of 14, of which he's been about, I think about three of them. Right. Yeah. Very rare live guest. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, 15 minutes late for Gav's heroic slot, yeah. but still a hero of the show. Kelly Jones is here! <laughs> Oh, you all right there, Kel? Very good. How are you? Yeah, really perky. Really nice that you made it in time for the five o'clock hour. Cracking timing. Looking great. Looking perky. Cheers. Love the leather trousers. Thank you very much. He's worn, <laughs> he's worn, no, he's worn black leather jacket and black leather trousers yeah, as well. Looks great. Today, yeah. It's awesome, man. <laughs> awesome. It's like Elvis 68 comeback special. Yeah, well, if you're going to do it. You're going to do it. You're going to drop it. You're going to say you're on. I say you're on. Fantastic. Fantastic. I think so. Yeah. I think Top so. But with that great big Jim Morrison sort of belt at the front with the bullets around the back. <laughs> Superb. Okay, do you know what? Let's have a quick tune. This is Arctic Monkeys, View from the Afternoon. Uh-oh. Kelly's here, Suntus here, the two sides are here, Gav's here, most importantly, you're here. Do you know what? Relax back, I got this. We'll take it from here. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, um, from Sheffield, we go to Wales. <laughs> that was really, really hammy. And from Sheffield, we continue our musical journey around the United Kingdom. Um, with a man so talented and prolific, uh, he makes the phrase keeping up with the Joneses an impossible task. He's the man uh, from Kumamam, <laughs> the MC from the Valleys. Ladies, it's awful. <laughs> Who wrote this? <laughs> Little Simon did. <laughs> Someone's been on Google. Embarrassing. Yeah. Awful, awful. Just give me a right kick in. Yeah. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, would you please welcome the front man of Stereophonics, friend of the show, Kelly Jones is here. <laughs> You right there, Kelly. How are very you, matey? I'm very good. I'm very good. What have you been up to today? We've been rehearsing with the boys today on a, on a roundabout in Wandsworth. Right. Yeah, it was really what, in the centre of the roundabout? Very se- really it is distracting. the centre of the roundabout. Very hard to get out in and out of your car. Yeah, like the bull ring <laughs> in like Birmingham. When you reverse onto a moving roundabout. I've got to move <laughs> fast, yeah. yeah. It's not my best. <laughs> no, I, you sometimes, when you got, you know when you head on one of those sort of dual carriageways out of London, yeah. like the A1, and you get those houses... Right, they just there. have their driveways yeah. literally yeah. onto the. Yeah, it's a bit like that. Yeah, well, I was thinking if I lived in one of those. But if only they knew we were inside you. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, if I lived in one of those houses, I'd, I'd get like those steam catapults like they have on aircraft car- carriers. <laughs> so you're in the driveway, it literally shoots you straight out at 70. <laughs> like, bang! Into the fast lane. Yeah, and then I'd have a hook out from the back of the car and like a string so I could get into my drive again at 60. Like, tick, tick, tick. Anyway, um, so you were rehearsing. How's it all going? Very good. Yeah, it was really good to see the boys. My mate came over from Germany. Yeah. He got me a new ACDC t-shirt and uh, socks and pants. There's a lot of ACDC merch over there, so yeah. Nice. You fill my boots. Yeah, you've got a good ACDC shirt, yeah, which is ACD 74 jailbreak. Yeah, got that on. They were established 73, so that's some proper, that's some really early merch. What's it like when you, how, how often do you see each other, sort of, no, you uh, know, normally or socially, or do you just stick to band stuff and that's probably why you stay together? No, 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 we're actually, we, we will go out and have a pint and that together. We do, we, we, right. still, we still like each other. <laughs> Not many bands do. No, they don't. They really don't. No, but we do. We do. I've been with Richard since I was three. Right. Wow. You know, and his mother and my mother were in the same school till they got expelled because they had to pee in the sink because they wouldn't let her go to the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Okay. 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 That is history. That's the best and that, story. That, that's really what bonds. Yeah. Mums, <laughs> it is, it is. mums that pee in a sink together at I mean, school together. Stick together. Their kids stay together in bands. And yeah. that's, that's really where the bands are going wrong. That's right. right. I mean... Yes, you see, if the Beatles had, yeah, right. Okay. Um, so, so when you when you get back together, so there's not that real sense of hey, what you've been doing. It's not like the start of a new term, or is it a bit? Uh, it can be. It depends along. It, it, I mean, it was in the middle of lockdown when we first got back together right. after about a year, but now we've been doing it once a week, so it's yeah. kind of back to as it was now. And when you first, what's the longest you haven't played together? This, this is, and how long? In sort of months before? Uh, it'd be coming up to two years. Wow. Two yeah. years. Well, we did one gig in the summer. We did one right. gig in Scarborough, yeah. which was right, but it, it, you know, it wasn't a, it wasn't a tour. No, it I've, just happened to be one what, festival no, that didn't get cancelled. One gig in Scarborough does not a tour <laughs> make. <laughs> yeah. there's a, it was there's a, surreal. There's a, I'm not sure if it was a Scooby Doo dream to us. Didn't feel <laughs> I, know, right. I, I think there's a real sort of one cuckoo does not a <laughs> yeah. spring break, but I think that's, yeah, that's going to be a new one. <laughs> one one <laughs> gig in Scarborough does not a, a tour. One. It's anyway, American Wealth in London. Yes, though, yeah. When you when you when you get back in the studio together, uh-huh. you're starting to rehearse. Um, do, do you do? You, how long is it before you before you're looking at someone tutting because they've missed a note or something? Thinking, come on, we've been playing this for thirty years. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I don't know. 
We're pretty tight, actually. You're pretty tight. Yeah. There you wow. go. You're stuck to his guns. There, that's course. beautiful. Oh, that's tight, good, yeah. man. That was me trying to make him bad mouth the bad <laughs> But as I say, once your mums have peed in a sink together, it's, yeah. not, it. it's yeah. not gonna happen. So you so it's, so when you're rehearsing, yeah. how do you know then that if you're already pretty tight, what yeah. point are you looking for when you sort of think, We've got it, we're still we're, we're just there, we're well, the, we're we're still the, the well, at the minute we're rehearsing um we're doing about seven shows for just enough education to perform, which is twenty years old. Yes. So we're just going to do these small theatre shows, which incidentally seems extraordinary. That you texted me that the other day. Yeah. It seems extraordinary. That's twenty years. I, mean, yeah. that's, I know. I know. All memories are yeah, yeah. equidistant we in the normally, brain. We don't normally do like the anniversary thing, but we had these. Yeah. We got these big shows booked at the end of the year. We thought we'd better do something, otherwise yeah. we can't walk back into. That no. Thing. So, but looking forward to it. It was good. We've been doing the old album in its entirety and thinking about what times were like then compared to now. And what you come up with? Well, in them days, you'd just go straight through and you'd go to the pub again at 11 in the morning, yeah. start uh, with a white Russian to get rid of the art burn and then go again, wouldn't you? <laughs> An aristocrat. Wait a second, wait a second. But now, <laughs> but now I'm driving to the therapist with Freebird on hope and I'd be free again one day. Yeah, <laughs> yeah right. No, but the, do you know, the white, I do the white Russians. Yeah, the digestion. art burn. It's fantastic. Yeah, I wish I wish there was a Gaviscon cocktail. Yeah, but there's not. So there isn't. Those little, those little tablets are all right there. They're they? all right, yeah, but <laughs> if there was an actual the liquid Gaviscon and you, that came with like a shot. I'm sure you can. Sure come up with somewhere. something. Yeah. Is no, that why? Is that why Lebowski drinks white Russians all yeah, the time? Of course, it's because yeah. indigestion. Yes. Yeah, yeah. It's all, 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 in America, it's also a sign of people who've done a bit of time. Right. Because when they come out, they're a bit intolerant of anything. Okay. Right. You know that does yeah. work. You know, yeah, well, it do, used to work. I don't know if it it still does. Works. No, white Russian, fantastic drink. Good drink. Fantastic. Yeah. It's a good drink. Yeah. yeah. It's a great drink. <laughs> <laughs> so, what did you really conclude in the first interview? I guess we concluded that white Russian's great for indigestion. You know, <laughs> sending a great message out for the kids. Right. You've got a new single. Uh, it's Do You Feel My Love. It's not a uh, a cover of the Eddie Grant classic. <laughs> it's not. The Lex no. lyric is not, Do you feel it when <laughs> I walk away? It now do you feel my love? Oh, <laughs> 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 now, now, now. Electric Avenue as well, man. Oh, don't, man. That's a... <laughs> Uh, yeah. No, it's not. Mind you, he wears leather trousers as well. <laughs> yes, he did. Yeah, yeah. Hot legs. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> Is it orange or not? I think they have yeah, orange. Oh, orange. Oh, no, that was yeah, Eddie yeah. Murphy. You crossed the line. That was Eddie yeah, Murphy. Yeah. You crossed the line with that. <laughs> right. So you've got Do You Feel My Love? It's out now. Uh, and yeah. this is the second single to be, to come off the forthcoming album, Ooch. Oochia. Oochia. Yeah. Do um, you think of Ray Winston saying it? Yes. Oochia. Ucha, right? Okay, is that why it's called Ucha? Yeah, not because of Ray. I mean, Ray's—he's a good crack, but yeah, he's yeah. good. He's a good lad. Yeah, but I do think of him saying it. Yeah, you know, Ucha. Yeah, like in sexy beast or something. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so this is Stereophonics. Do you feel my love? Enjoy this right now on Radio X. Kelly, you're going to hang around for a second and chat with us some more, yeah? Love to. There we go. That was Do You Feel My Love uh, out now. That's the second single uh, from the forthcoming album Ucha, released 4th of March 2022. Looking forward to that immensely. Uh, and ladies and gentlemen, our guest is the singer in the band. Kenny Jones is with us. Right, well, how do you feel still singing? Listen, when you listen to your, your tunes, do you, um, I mean, I, I ham-fistedly write things, right? Yeah. Um, and my excuse for never particularly playing to people is because there's always a little bit of work that needs to be done on them. Yeah. Well, when, when you listen to that then, do you consider that's finished, that's done? Well, I hope it's finished, yeah, because you've got it. <laughs> I know, but when you're listening to that, <laughs> don't you? Right, do I still want to tinker with it? You yes, know? yes, yes, yes. Um, like like, yeah. Michael, like Da Vinci always carried the Mona Lisa around with him because he was uh, tinkering with it. Yeah, it's really, when you're in the mix stage, it can go on a bit. Yeah. And then you, I always do car tests, so I just drive around in the car until it feels right and sounds okay. right. And then letting it go is, is a bit hard work. And then once you let it go, you start getting a bit anxious, because, and then they start yeah. pressing vinyl and stuff like that. So yeah, the then it's really does go, and then after a while, you're so sick of it. You just like give it away then. You, I don't That's know. it. Yeah. So if you when you listen back to your tunes on stations like Radio X, yeah. the big one in indie music, <laughs> um, do, do, you, do, do you are there songs that that the little bits? Oh, I can't wish I just put that. in. Why did I slightly have that lyric there? Are there things that? Yeah, I mean you're always. I mean you just can't change the can You can't. It? Well, you can. You can we can you, go? No, you I can. mean Sting went back in and re-recorded all the police songs. I know. It? Do you ever feel like doing that? No. Of sort of going back. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't mean record the police songs. I know, I like to start movies. again. No, no. <laughs> yes, John, I like to record all the police tunes. I think they're rubbish. No, no, no. no. <laughs> well, there's a lot I do with Sting. Yeah. No, there is. There's fantastic bloke. They're fantastic bloke. They're a good band. They're a great yeah. band. <laughs> We're not, there's no doubts about that one. But but uh, but with that, you're absolutely satisfied. And there comes that moment when you say, print it. Yeah. I mean, you're satisfied with the time it's done. Yes. And then it just goes but, by. But then. I'm interested in what you would go back and anything sort of famous that we'd know that you'd, you'd slightly, uh, a lyric you'd slightly change or umdenard over or anything like that. 
I think, uh, I don't know. I mean, when I listen to Maybe Tomorrow, the way we do that live now might be better than the way it is on the record, but I don't Like really what? Like what? Vocally, singing-wise. Okay. Yeah, because at the time, it was a lot of... There's a lot of stuff going on. <laughs> <laughs> but um, I prefer wow. it now. Well, yeah. hey, do you know what? While saying there was a lot of stuff going on, you actually told me to don't ask. And you're like, That's amazing that someone can say don't ask while they're talking with their eyes. That's extraordinary. That's like, you know when mates have uh, are perhaps trying to get intimate with a girl they're trying mm. to talk to a girl right and they're, and they're sort of chatting away but they can tell you to go away yes. with one with, eyebrow with the yeah. iris no with the yeah. iris of an eye just <laughs> the intensity they can actually just put more 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 thug behind their brain like sod off uh, I was getting that then exactly the same it was quite weird uh, Kelly will you stick around yeah okay ladies and gentlemen our guest today is Kelly Jones we're going to be talking more to him more with him uh, about that uh, album that's out next year and uh, uh, more about our story Stuff. It's coming up next. Uh-oh. I don't know. I haven't got a clue either. I don't know. Do, do you ever start writing lyrics like the Kings of Leon? Just think, I'll, I'll just make just, sounds and see if it forms I'll, words. You just, you know one word on there, right? No, no nothing, nothing. <laughs> Apparently he used to do it because he didn't want his mother to understand what he was saying. Right. Sneaky. And when he got to the album with Sex on Fire. Right. Yeah. And he had the, they had a different producer. Yeah. And everybody thought he was socks on fire, didn't they? Right. <laughs> I, 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 I mean, embarrassing singing sex on fire right in front of your mum. Yeah. Right. I know. Yeah. But I love those. As we all look down, looking a bit yeah, difficult. <laughs> What's look at this one, mum? <laughs> Ooh. Your sex is on fire. I love it. I think it's nice with all them wiggles. Right. Let's move on. Let's move on. Um, who are you enjoying? We just talked about, uh, uh, we, were, we were discussing things yes. during the uh, 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 Kings of Leon there. Who, who do you enjoy listening to at the moment? Uh, I've liked the new War and Drugs record, uh, the Sam Fender stuff, the new stuff. We've been listening to that. Have you met Sam? He's a good friend. He's another friend of the show. He was in quite recently. He's one of the only other people that bothers turning up. See, Sam came to our show in Newcastle on the last arena tour. I didn't know he was there. Yeah. And apparently when we were on stage, he ended up making his way back to our dressing room and raiding our mini bar. What? Oh, right there, yeah, 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 mini right bar. It wasn't yeah, a mini bar, yeah, right there, sorry. Say, what, he wasn't in my room. Yeah, what are you? <laughs> oh, was he? At the no, Travel Lodge. No, he was, uh, he was reading our... He, was reading he our nicked all the Evian. Yeah. And, then we, and then he got he got escorted out, and then we saw him after. He show, got escorted right? out? He escorted out of the dressing room, oh, yeah. Hang on, that's Whoa. quite rock and roll, actually. Yeah. What was the out. etiquette on artists going yeah. into other artists' dressing rooms? Well, when, when you're on stage, I don't think it's a good, John. No. No, no. I mean... you wait until... No. No, you should be hosted in there yeah, by hosted, whoever's yeah. dressing room it is. And he was afterwards, and then he, yeah. dropped, and then he dropped it on the floor. Wow, and we had Sam pick, Fender. And then we had to pick up his glass, but he was he was good crack. Sam Fender. He was a little bit messy that night. But. Clumsy thief. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like a pirate raid. <laughs> Seriously, it sounds like a, he does sound like a, what you've got there is a social problem, not an artist. But aside from him being a clumsy thief, what what, what about he? Uh, you enjoy his music? Yeah, I do. I think he's a good singer. He's a good writer. He's good lyrics. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's good. Nice lyrics. He's got a good. He's got a good view on the stuff, hasn't he? Yeah, I like his new stuff particularly. Yeah, he is, and and he's and why what, what I like is he underneath it all. He's got quite a good Geordie accent there. He's yeah, still got that he local. Can hear it, I yeah. know he's still got that. It's not quite folk music, but he's dialect. got a local flavour there, which is quite nice. You can hear the dialect. You it? can hear the dialect. Yeah. yeah. Um, so we've got uh, uh, your your band is celebrating twenty years as we discussed uh, of the release of just enough education to perform uh, twenty. We got Mr. Writer, have a nice day, uh, which is coming up next. What what memories you got from twenty years ago? Mm. Um, but bad question. Bad if bad you looked at me, said move which, on, John. Which memory do you have from yeah. twenty years? Yeah. Ago? <laughs> Name your memory. Well, well, Name the al- memory <laughs> from. <laughs> well, that album was it was it was all kind of. It was the police escorts and helicopters and stuff like that. It was headlining yeah. Glastonbury and yeah. Spain, and we were opening up for U2 doing the Elevation Tour. Wow. Um, wow. We did the Stones shows. But both of us then went, well, actually, I, mean, we, we just, wow we, I just realised well. we just wowed a guest. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> strange, yeah. No, Gav, Gav, Gav's, Gav's a fab guitar. No, Gav was a good session guitarist. Yeah. I know he had real... No, t- I know, I know. He really had dreams of being in a band. As I you know, still do. What do you mean, had? Yeah. Sorry, Gav. <laughs> same, same. We dreamed of being in the same band with the Temple Tones. I'm waiting for the Foo Fighters to invite me on stage yeah, well, they like they do people in the I still have fantasies about it. Yeah, yeah. Oh, no, it. it's not a fantasy. It's not about you. It's about going me. to happen. Okay, okay, fair enough. <laughs> so so when, you, when you've when you headlined Glastonbury, yeah. 
What 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 what? Um, what do you what do you feel about I that? I didn't actually. I, Don't I, give I, us the I, memory. I, I could, do you know what? Until somebody showed that back to me, I didn't actually remember playing on it. Not because you're out of it, but it, it was such an out of body yeah experience. With like ninety thousand people going all the way back. Yeah. Um, but I remember when I uh, I sang uh, I got a feeling the the Black Eyed Peas <laughs> tune at Wembley at the uh, summertime ball and uh, similar thing. I just almost can't relate to the fact. That un- we were doing unaccompanied karaoke wow. uh, in front of that many people and, being, and, and being told to get off uh, by them because <laughs> they like, wanted the real deal to come on. Yeah, it must oh, yeah. have been similar experience. It was just like that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was just like that, yeah. Um, yeah. So, so when you're doing something like that, uh, when we often discuss, well, we try and discuss this when we have artists big enough. We haven't had many artists on who've actually had like that. Yeah. I think it's, it's you. Ah, no, oh, no, it's you and Liam. I did, That's about yeah. it. Yeah. But, but, but is, it, is it not that nerve-wracking, just kind of surreal? Uh, it, it is nerve wracking. It's a bit, oh, is it? it's a bit weird because you obviously see all the big names uh, walking to the side of the stage and stuff. I do remember the, the Edge coming up to watch us on the side of the stage in Slane Castle. We had Lane Slane Castle, and Swampy, our guitar, our drum tech at the time, he was a bit of a prankster. He would, he would, you know, he would go to sleep on the side of the stage and stuff. I guess, but he, I remember going up to the to the Edge and presenting him with a digital delay pedal because <laughs> because, <laughs> because the Edge obviously all of his guitar effects yeah, Swamp, yeah. Swampy would you know he would give you bottles on stage without taking the tops off and stuff like that and put set yeah. upside down all that kind of stuff yeah. so, um, and then he'd be in the front row with a bird and he'd be like what are you doing down there you be doing the drums so <laughs> yeah. stuff like that nice but he gave the Edge a drum yeah, delay pedal them guys because yeah, uh, yeah, you know yeah, they, right. they got in the way of the you know the rugby tour was over but, so you're not left it's only when you when you watch it back that you yeah. have Glastonbury memories it's almost your memories of it are actually ones off the telly rather they than are. It's a bit like when you've got memories of your childhood, you know, from the photographs you've seen rather than right. the actual thing. It's a bit like that. But not all to, of them, but that particular one, I don't really have a grip. You should put that into a lyric. That's a really nice lyric. Memories from photographs, not real ones. I, I always know. think of There's Glastonbury, especially the headline slot, as being the final. Yeah. Yes, it is. Yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah. It's a exactly festival right, season, yeah. and then there's the big one. Yeah. No, but I remember when I used to do, you know, proper competitive running. Mm. And <laughs> oh, <laughs> shut up! Do you know something? No, sometimes I used to be a really good. Shut, I used to be a really shut, good runner. Shut, don't shut. show me off, and don't you dare shut. start showing. No, no, I'm there. And, but I remember. I'm Let's go. I could never particularly remember that last lap. Something else seems to pick you up. Almost <laughs> like overwhelming, isn't know, it? You yeah. just suddenly you get that sort of adrenaline through the leg, shut. and it lifts you up towards the end of the triathlon. <laughs> no, but it does lift you up, and you and you kind of don't remember. It's a bit of a blur. Oh, you can kind of remember the crowd cheering you, mm. like chance, 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 chance. I like Ronnie O'Sullivan's book on running. Have you read that? No, that's a good book. He runs a lot, that's doesn't a he? Good book. It does. I you... had a good game of snooker with him once. Did, Did you? you? Yeah, in in uh, in <laughs> <Klang>. <laughs> he was in he was in Ronnie. He was in Ronnie. He was in Ronnie. <laughs> now we're impressed. No, right? he, was in, he was in. He was. He was playing. Uh, what was he playing? Ronnie O'Sullivan. Ronnie Wood was the referee and Kenny Lynch was my partner. Oh my God. Oh, Christ <laughs> and, Ronnie had, and Ronnie had white gloves on. No. <laughs> no way. Yeah, that was a good one. Who won? Uh, uh, Ronnie O'Sullivan. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Okay. I remember Kenny Lynch driving home at four o'clock in the morning like, doing that in the car. Window. Fantastic, man. Yeah. He was a character. Yeah, Kenny was fantastic. I was once at a uh, mate of mine's wedding when Kenny Lynch was there. And uh, t- can I tell this story? Are we still on? <laughs> yes, we are. And 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 Kenny Lynch uh, and I were doing uh, doing impressions of how Elvis used to move. Yeah, this yeah. came back about twenty years. We're doing impressions of yeah, with his, and, and we were doing impressions of Elvis of his karate kicks. Yeah, and Ken got tangled up in the side of the marquee and fell over. <laughs> and he was lying on the floor. I was helping him up, and Bruce Forsyth came past and went, "Watch out for little Rod." <laughs> <laughs> Which is uh, never not funny. <laughs> never not funny, right? <laughs> right, this is from the extraordinary 20 year old, just enough education to perform. 20 years ago, they headlined Glastonbury and they gave us this. Have a nice day. That's Have a Nice Day. Ladies and gentlemen, we've got Kelly Jones in the house. Have a nice day, of course, from Just Enough edu- Education to Perform, uh, which is 20 years old, Kelly. It is. 20 <laughs> years old, yeah. And uh, we were just talking about Glastonbury. I don't know if you were just with us a couple of seconds ago, right here on the 4 till 7 thing. I'll see you live on Radio X. Very rare we've got a live guest. Uh, people tend to shun us. For some reason, they, they like going on breakfast. Why is that, do you think, Kelly? <laughs> <laughs> no. Why, why do people go on breakfast shows, do you think, and not, not a nice and easier slot for them? I don't know. It must be to do with... Um... 
No, but perhaps you could tell anyone who's listening who's in your business that actually this is a nice slot to come on to. Yeah, yeah you don't uh, have to get up early. No. You haven't got to get up early, and, and really, how much you'd recommend it? I would recommend it. Why do you think people, you don't have many guests on? No, we don't. No, uh, we should mm. Mm. have more. Okay, you sound really convinced. <laughs> um, Kelly, it, will you stay with us for a couple of seconds? Yeah. Okay. More, well, more than I, yeah. We're going we're going to talk to you about stuff from the show cuz I know you're a listener cuz from yeah. time to time you actually send me a text I do, yeah. about you know taken from the the culture of the show. Also if you have any questions for Kelly please 83936 why already someone's texting to say they threw their pants at him yeah. in Germany. Yeah. So those are the sort of things he wants. I do, yeah. <laughs> yeah, he does. I want pants, don't I? Yeah. I want pants on Radio X. <laughs> Kathleen Catfish in the bottom and we've had a text in from someone who said to our guest on the 4 till 7 thing, Kelly Jones, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> um, that they, they were once told that you were related to Tom. Yeah. And so they, um, they uh, uh, because of that, and this is what the odd thing is, because of that, yeah. they threw their pants at you at a gig in Germany and you stopped <laughs> the gig to take them off your microphone where the pants were hanging. Well, I'm not going to be singing into that. No. <laughs> I mean, I have had a guy in Scotland once throw trainers and uh, they used to throw, they used to have a thing in Scotland and Glasgow, they used to throw trainers or the stage. Shoes. Shoes. Yeah, yeah. right. Wow. Used to, and, and shirts and you always used to have this image of these Scottish drunk men hopping home with Yeah, them. right. But then, but then <laughs> I one, gave my shoes to Kelly. Come, a traditional come, fighting shoe. Come back yeah. at the end and ask for their shoe back. Oh, they'd ask yeah. for them back? I get my shoe back, yeah. And then the rest of their life, they go, see that shoe? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You won't believe it, right? Yeah, right. I'll give that to Keith Jones. <laughs> uh, but you know Tom? I do know Tom, yeah. I was watching the football with him a lot in, in, in the lockdown uh, in his place. And um, it was amazing because I've known him for 20 years when yeah. we did Mama Told Me Not To Come and that. Yeah. Um, oh, of course. Yeah, of course. Yeah, we did yeah. that That's a years. tune. It yeah, is. I like that. That's a we great used, version. The first time we met him was out in Vegas. We, we spent a... a a, a bit of time in Vegas with him both. That's, yeah. that's for another time. Um, <laughs> really but yeah, but we did go around to his place to watch the football, and um, he's got a he's got a great fellow there called Ben who looks, yeah. used to look after the Queen, and I believe looked after Johnny Depp when he was shooting. Nice. All the players. He's got a man. <laughs> wow, the, but, but the I variety. Say the word butler, but yeah, yeah. But there was a lot of snacks. Oh, <laughs> oh man! Did he bring really good snacks? Yeah, all wrapped up from cling film. And stuff. Nice. Oh man! He's a pro. And obviously. how does Tom get during a Welsh? I mean, is he pa- is he very patriotic and very passionate? Loud, yeah, very is loud. he? Telly, yeah. Wow! Of course, he's got that voice to shout at the. Of telly. course, he. <laughs> So, it, I'm it, on wheels. <laughs> Move for him. <laughs> Move for him. So space, man. <laughs> yeah, it was good. Um, okay, listen, we've got a few things on the show yes. we're going to go through here. Um, but th- can I just say thank you very much for all your questions, which are not really questions. They're sort of statements to Kelly. Yeah, they are. Whether yeah. you just wanted to say true, false. Yeah, and, yeah. and a lot of them we can't say true or false to. No. Um, first up, yeah. uh, Bullshido. We do a regular thing on the show called Bullshido where we examine the world of the liar. Yeah. Um, over the years of touring and playing live, you must have have met your fair share of, of Bullshido artists and just hanging around pubs. Uh, any who stand out remarkable Bullshido? Uh, there was a fellow that used to be back in uh, Aberdeen, South Wales, called Bob Trump. Right, and he had a bit of a he had a bit of a slogan. Great start, so great he, start. He used, to work, great start. he used to work down the pit, and if one of the boys would come out and say, "Gee, I got a got a stone in my boot," oh, don't bother. He said, "I took my boot off the other day." He said, "It was a walnut in there." <laughs> <laughs> Creative liar, <laughs> a walnut. <laughs> Yeah, few, few. <laughs> great voice there. Well, what's great is I forgot you can really do Welsh accents. Like you can, you can be more Welsh, which is great. I had Ten points last week. Oh, I don't bother. I had twenty-five points and drove okay. my car home. Yeah. Okay, I've got. I'm going to have to go through these. Um, I've got Martin's hot tap, which yeah. is, which you know, where we celebrate really shoddy DIY. I gather, mm. um, you, you, you once made a mouse trap. Well, last year I had a mouse in the house. Yeah, I've, I've had that. Yeah, you, and I, uh, and I was trying to, I chased it a few times, and I yeah, I've had tried that. to go into the radiator cover so I could see how high he could jump and how high he couldn't jump. Right? <laughs> right. So yeah. gauged, you sized him up. Yeah, I, yeah. I sized him up. How I, high I, could he go? I, I gauged over his ability, right? Yeah. And then he came into. <laughs> well, the, his ability as a mouse. His yeah. performance. <laughs> he was he was quite a good mouse, actually. He was, <laughs> but he wasn't going high. He was right? tidy. Couldn't quite get in there. Yeah. And then one day I was watching the football, and he came into the room where all my vinyl records are on the speakers, uh, yeah. and, I, and I and I saw him come in, and I closed the door because I knew the gap under this door wasn't that. Small enough. <laughs> <laughs> so then I trapped him behind the speaker and I got a candle 
yeah. and a seven inch vinyl. Yeah. And I put the candle on top and I caught him, slid the seven inch under there. And then yeah. a mate on the pub told me that you've got to take him a mile away from your house, right? Right. Otherwise they find their way back. Yeah. Did, so okay. I went out the house and I ran all the way down to Parsons Green with a candle. <laughs> seven inch record, and I dropped him off outside the little church, right? And then I ran back. Nice. And I thought, I bet he's actually running behind me. Yeah, yeah, right. And then when I got back to the house, I had this idea because I could see how he could jump. And I got a, I got a roll of brown parcel tip and yeah. I put it on the back door <laughs> sticky side out <laughs> well, if he tried to get back in he'd either get stuck on it or he couldn't hurdle it anyway so there we go it. it's genius okay. that's hey, one of the best hot tags we've fantastic. ever had I, uh, I, when I had the mouse when I had mouse in my house and I had that trap I, you suddenly you really start to feel like a hunter. Yeah. And you're sort of thinking, I'm just hunting mouse. I block yeah. my house. Yeah. It really is yeah, like yeah. micro hunting. And then, but like you, you start to, trying to outthink them. Yeah. You start thinking, <laughs> so I'm coming in here, I'm a mouse, right? <laughs> I'm looking around, I get to the radio, I'm thinking, I can't go that way. And you start to so, sort of get oh, into yeah, the you mind. You easily for, squeeze in that hole. Yeah, no, I can't, can't, thinking, I'll can't go there. get to that. He'll never yeah. get there. Think like the mouse. Be the mouse. Be the mouse. <laughs> right, here we go. Next up. Um, Work, rest, and play. I'm oh. very interested in your workplace games, skiving, and cheeky corporate kips. Um, have you found fun ways to keep yourself amused while touring, or is it best not to ask you? Uh, well, it's usually the same things, just in the pub and I, really. Um, okay. Darts. So, you did our okay. darts tournament before. Well, on the tour once. bus? No, in the dressing room, <laughs> but we did that for a while, and then we realised our arms wouldn't work properly when we went on stage. Yes. <laughs> the be I think the best one I heard yeah. was you telling me about Stuart drumming oh. and watching Wales. Yeah, that was a good one. Yeah. I mean, that's really that's really playing well. Playing what, did, what did you you were at we were Wembley Stadium? Wembley Stadium op opening up for Aerosmith Toxic Twin Tour. Right. Yeah. And uh, Stuart said, oh, "I can't believe we got a gig today." I'm like, "What do you mean?" He said, "Wales are playing South Africa." I said, "We playing Wembley Stadium." <laughs> he said, yeah, I don't know. "And he walked on stage in a portable tell and he put it by his feet and he watched the whole South <laughs> oh, and oh, Africa work, game, rest, playing. and play." Oh, oh man, I um, admire that. Do you know what, uh, Kelly? It has been just such a blast uh, having you on the show today thank you so thank much for uh, spending a whole hour with us uh, just enough education to perform um, we're celebrating <laughs> we're celebrating <laughs> <laughs> we're celebrating 20 years uh, of that uh, thank you so much for celebrating it with, with us I'm looking forward uh, to your album coming out next year in March yep. uh, thank you very much for bringing your new tune along which we enjoyed immensely ladies and gentlemen he's been our guest for the last hour right here on the 4 till 7 thing on your Radio X the man the legend friend of the show uh, Mr Kelly Jones Kelly thank you so much <laughs> thank you. thanks Kelly Radio X